Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Guys, I gotta tell you, no matter where you live in the country right now, over the next couple of months, you're going to probably have the opportunity to get out fishing, but the conditions aren't gonna be great. Now it's one of those weird trade-offs because a lot of times your cold water fishing periods can be some of the best fishing of the year, but it can also be very miserable if you're out in the boat. So you gotta make sure you know, that you're dressed appropriately so that you can get out on the water. And honestly, in my opinion, if you don't dress correctly, it can ruin an entire day. It can ruin an entire trip. It could lead to potential health problems as well. So dressing correctly is a must if you want to fish during this cold water period. You know, I'm sitting here looking out my window right now at just some of the most miserable conditions I've seen in a long time. We've got highs and this is the first of three days we've got highs in the low 40s we got 20 to 30 mile an hour sustained winds and we've got just a consistent rain slash mist where you walk outside and water is coming up in your face from every direction i mean it is miserable out uh but that really just kind of you know goes back to if you're fishing yeah, if you're fishing during the cold water period, you may have the choice to go fishing on the best days. But if you fish tournaments, this is the stuff that we get confronted with on a regular basis. So you got to have the best uh, different articles of clothing to really help you get through the day and to keep you in a mindset that is not worried about the weather conditions, but you're worried about how to put the next fish in the boat. So we're going to talk about some of my favorite pieces of, of apparel and keep in mind, guys, I love to fish cold water periods. Like my favorite thing to do is fish giant smallmouth all the way up until when we freeze over. So generally we're talking about, you know, right around mid-November, Thanksgiving-ish, hopefully if we can get that long. But generally speaking, just because we haven't froze over, our air temps are still, uh, you know, below freezing in the morning. And slightly above so i'm out there fishing in 30 degree water or 30 degree temps and fishing in water that could be 35 degrees or 38 degrees right something like that so one thing that i've really honed in over my career is how to dress appropriately because it is such a important thing for me to be able to do the things that i love to do so the first thing that is most important is is to have a good rain suit a good full uh bib slash jacket set and I got to tell you, this one right here, so this is the Denali Insulated Suit by Stryker. So we're going we're gonna to be talking about Stryker items of apparel here. They are a sponsor of mine, but you got to keep in mind, Stryker really started off as an ice fishing apparel company. They dominate that market. They are considered by far the best piece of apparel out there. And then over the last several years, they've transitioned into open water as well, so they they fully understand how to keep you warm during conditions that are not ideal. At the same time, they also do now have warm water uh, fishing clothing or hot weather clothing that is amazing as well. So you might want to check that out too. But let's talk about some of this cold weather stuff because this is so important. And when I look outside, it's just brutal. I mean, it just makes me feel chilled. But this right here, this Denali insulated suit, the first thing I want to point out is you probably see a lot of people wearing those Primaloft jackets. They're kind of those little puffy jackets. Extremely lightweight, but extremely warm. It's almost one of those things you don't understand why they're as warm as they are. And I can't speak to the Primaloft technology and how that works, but that's what this jacket is made of. So not only is it extremely warm because it has extremely high-end Primaloft material in it, it's also the lightest suit I've ever worn in terms of that ratio of does it keep me warm and how light is it? It is an extremely light, non-bulky suit because of that Primaloft that's in it. You know, and then from that standpoint, you get a lot of other high-end features, like you start getting the neoprene cuffs on there to keep water from running up your sleeve. As you can see right there, you've got a ton of adjustable straps to get it to fit right, adjustable hoods, so you can really block out that wind, that rain. The suit itself is fully waterproof, fully breathable, fully windproof. It is the, high, the, the best suit I've ever worn in terms of keeping me warm, keeping me dry, and just allowing me to fish during the elements 
you know, it really drives me nuts a lot of times when I see people out there fishing and they're like just completely underdressed or they're, they have a rain suit, but they're wearing a rain suit that really would only work. It would, it's the same rain suit you'd wear if it was 95 degrees out. It's not an insulated suit. And if you like to fish during cold water periods, or maybe you don't even like to do it, but you do it because you've got tournaments or you just want to stay really warm, you need to check out this insulated Denali suit. I'll put links in the video description so you guys can go check it out. The bibs, you know, that match them are absolutely amazing. You can see you've got the full Primaloft liner all the way up it. The other thing that I really like with these too, you can unzip the leg way up like past the knee. So when it comes to getting in and out of them, if you've got boots on or even gym shoes, very, very easy, very accessible just from that standpoint to just zip the leg all the way up. This suit is, I, I'm in love with it guys. Like it is a phenomenal, phenomenal suit. Uh, it really has changed a lot of my cold water fishing to the point where I'm just super comfortable. Now let's say if you're out there and you don't really want to be wearing the full jacket. Maybe you've got bibs on and you know it's just one of those days where it's kind of chilly, not super cold, maybe it's windy. Well, they do make this guy right here and you've probably seen me in a bunch of videos. So this is their, uh, the Renegade jacket. This is just a very good, or the Renegade pullover I should say. As you guys know how much I love my hoodies, this is a pullover. So again, it's got the zippered, neck but then it's got like the kangaroo pouch and a couple of things i want to point out with this so this is uh water resistant windproof breathable it's got fleece liner like in the hoods fleece liner in the pockets a ton of uh, zippered pockets to keep your valuables uh safe and dry it's one of those uh jackets that you know it's that it's a it's a mix between a hoodie and a jacket but it's Definitely going to keep you dry, keep you warm on those days where a hoodie's not going to be able to do it for you. The other thing I like about you have side flaps that also have a zipper on it where you can utilize this to either help it, you know, help you get it on each day, or you can also utilize it where maybe you are getting a little bit warm. Maybe you've got your bibs on where all this is confined. You can then unzip the side, which then will really cool you off from the bottom. Uh, it's a very neat feature that you don't get with a lot of other things. But as you guys can see, I mean, I've got a lot of fish slime and stuff still on these. I mean, they're absolutely awesome. The Renegade Pullover, another one of my favorites. Not to mention, I also feel like it's pretty dang stylish as well. So I can wear that around town. I can wear it out to dinner. I mean, it's a nice looking suit. So those two things are absolute must for me. Now, a couple of these other ones are probably things that maybe some of you haven't thought about or wouldn't necessarily think about. And you probably see me wearing them again. So these right here are two of my absolute favorites. Now, I do tend to get cold hands very quickly. And I love to uh, be able to keep my hands warm. Now, I got to tell you, these guys, this is just their wool cut off gloves. So they're fingerless gloves, as you guys can see right here. A couple of things to point out. It's a very high end wool. So not only is it moisture wicking, meaning it's kind of pulling the moisture away, it maintains heat even when wet. So if you watch uh, like the video I did with Hank, we fished a tournament. I mean, my gloves, you know, I was sticking my whole hand in the water. I was just culling fish with it. My gloves were wet the entire time, but it's amazing because of the wool that they use, how warm that they will stay. The other thing to point out is they've got a suede material that covers the entire palms and up the fingers. So it's not just like a little patch like a lot of gloves have. It's the entire area. So there's no slippage when you're holding your reel. Uh, it feels like the reel is just basically part of your hand. It's a great, these are great. Like these are, uh, again, you know, for me, I love to have some form of hand protection on and I cannot say enough good things about these guys right here. Just their wool fingerless gloves. Just a great piece. You know, something again, uh, where if you're looking at, you know, maybe you don't like to fish with gloves on, but you still need to make a run in the morning. Throw those on. They'll keep your hands warm while you're making the run. Very, very good uh, to have in the boat. Along those same lines, and this one may seem kind of funny too, but these are just striker wool socks. Now, I know 
this sounds funny, but they've got a ton of features. They actually claim this to be the most high tech sock out there. And I can't argue with it because there's so many cool things about this. Uh, a couple of things to point out again, very high end wool maintains heat, uh, moisture wicking so that you like, if your feet are sweaty inside of a boot, it, they'll like moisture wick that away. They've got padded shins. So if you're wearing it with some form of bigger boot or more of a high top shoe, it's a lot more comfortable because the shin adds protection. Uh, it's got ankle support. You can see right in this ribbing area that provides ankle support. It's got arch support in the bottom of the foot. So these socks really fit well. The other thing to note, uh, they don't move at all if you're wearing like a boot. They really do form to your foot very well versus other people that think just because I've got a wool sock that's super thick and fat, it's going to keep my feet warm. Well, sometimes that's not actually true because it, it, depending on the type of wool, it may not be that warm. But more importantly, like you'll slide around in those big socks. These are like wearing you know, socks you'd wear in, under your gym shoes. I mean, they really fit well. These are my everyday socks, to be honest with you guys. I wear these probably five days out of the week. Uh, absolutely love them. Super comfortable. But I just love how they do actually provide me some ankle support, some arch support. And they go, they're high too. So you can pull them up to just short of the, the knee. So they do provide a lot of warmth up the rest of your leg. Phenomenal socks. So that's Another thing, the last thing too, I'm going to point out. So this is their face off face mask. Uh, you know, for some of those days, if you're, you got to make a run in the morning, it's super cold. One of the best things you can do is wear some form of face, uh, you know, clothing. In this case, this is their face mask. It's kind of like a, I think they call them balaclavas. But the cool thing with this is they've really designed this well. So a couple of things to point out, it's got a face mask that you can pull up and down. So let's say you are making a long run or it's a windy day out, you can pull this up over your face to really block the wind from your mouth area. It's got uh, one thing I really like, it's got a looser neck area that really just kind of tucks in nice inside of your clothing. So it doesn't have that kind of that uh, constricting feel where it just feels like you're almost being choked. Like you get with some forms of, of tight clothing out there that have like a turtleneck. You don't get that at all. Uh, it's also got the fleece liner. It's moisture wicking, uh, water resistance, windproof. It's one of those things that for me, like anytime I'm fishing cold and I need to make a boat ride that's driving me nuts or it's just really cold out and I need to stay warm, this face mask is the thing that I'm going for. All of these are just unbelievably high quality, made for the elements to keep you out there, keep you fishing, to have a good time. Because I honestly believe that if you're not dressed appropriately in cold weather conditions, you might as well not even go out. Like it's th These are worth the investment because they will allow you to be on the water, to enjoy yourself, and to actually get to the point where you you kind of just forget about the crummy weather conditions that are going on. You're out there and you're staying warm, you're staying dry, the wind's not affecting you, and you can fish as if it's a nice warm day on the water. So guys, check these out. I'll put a link in the video description if this is something that you're looking for. Uh, they also, we do have the holidays coming up, so it would be a good, uh, simple thing you could do if you've got an outdoorsman in your family as well that's looking for something uh, and you think that these would help them pursue the bass that they're after. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned, new video coming out tomorrow.